In the 1960s, Nigeria accounted for 43% of the world oil power production. Today, the nation can only contribute 7%, thus the need for an agricultural revolution. of this farm settlement to Ketupa came when Awolowo is this was the premier of the western region of Nigeria. The contestants have journeyed to Ondo, the Sunshine State, to learn the art of oil palm production. At the Oketupa oil palm settlement, they were taken through the very delicate process of cultivating oil palm. Where the thing is poured here, we will cover it with this thing. We we'll cover it with this thing. So it will heat it very well. Then, a veteran oil palm farmer shows the contestants how to harvest the many products of the oil palm tree. Now they would learn to harness and process the oil palm fruit. This is cooking drop. We have different types of cooking drop. This is round one. This is round one. We have some that are triangular. We have that as triangular, then we have square also. This is round. Why that is triangle? I mean that is a square. We have that of triangle and other <coughs> things. We have small, smaller ones. You can use different types of drums depending on the quantity of uh, the bunches you have. And what happens is with your bunches, it, dep it depends on how many bunches you have. If you say you have, let us say, 10 bunches, you know you will not go and use this big drum that we use, you will use the small drum. So it is your, the, the number of your uh, bunches will determine the type of drum you will use. Because somebody who has 10 bunches will not go and use the drum that is about this size. So it is the bunches that determine the type of drum you will use. Um, so how long do you cook the nuts in China? Cooking. What happens is that sometimes we cook it overnight. Then there are some time we cook it immediately, then we process it. It depends on what you want. You know, plenty of people need plenty of money. There are some time we need in quick money, then you have to process it today. You do it, then you sell it and get your money. But there are some times you have to cook it overnight. So it's covered uh, with a sack. Yes. Sir. Must you use this type of sack or you can use jute? Jute sack or if you have a lid that can cover it. What happens, why we don't use lid is because if the thing is full, yes, then it will reach this place. So you can, if you say want to put the cover that is a lid, where do the lid turn when this thing is like this? So that is why we use this system. If this thing goes higher, then we have to do it like this. We do it like this. Pack it. We okay. pack it there, then we cover it. So what are the implications of overcooking the nut or to cook it half done? And also, sir, if you want to cook it uh, pasta, can you put chemical like potassium or anything like that? What happens with us here, if you want to cook it, we don't put any chemical. We cook it with water. We don't put any chemical. So when you overcook the nut, what is, is there any... There's no overcooking in it. When it is done, it is done. We go and mill it. There's no overcooking. And there's no non in cooking. So we cover it with this thing. We don't put chemical. We don't use chemical here because the chemical may be poisonous. And we, know, we don't want to produce something that we, has, we hazard our lives. We don't put any chemical. Yes, somebody from here. When you not, when, when you finish boiling them. Yes. When you finish boiling them, how do you remove them from the boiling drum? Or Break it. In. Drum? This is how we remove it. We will use this one to bring it out like the Let me put this one there. I bring it out for you. This is what we do. This is what we do. I 
have now removed these uh, cooked fruits. We drop them inside this pan. There's somebody we call carrier. It may be man, it may be woman, it may be boy, it may be girl. He who he can carry. He will carry this thing to the milling machine. Yes. Thank you, sir. Sir, please. And I like, now that you've opened this, I didn't see water. So how do you measure the quantity of water you will use? Very good. Where you pour is pour this thing. Where you put the fruits, you will put water. There's no measurement of water. Do you know why? We are learning of this thing. Where we know the water is enough, we leave it. When we continue to heat it, you will hear the noise of the steam making. You know the water is there. So there's something we put inside like this again. There's one long seat we drop inside like this. Yeah, you bring it out. When it touches water, you know the water is still there. If it doesn't touch water, you know say it's getting dry. Right. Then you put more water. water. Okay, thank you. Yes. Any question from this side? People here, you don't have questions. Why? Tell us here from this guy. Yes, thank you, sir. Please, sir, when you put the fruits on, on fire, yes. how do we know that it's done or it's cooked and it's ready to be poured out? This is how we know. Look at this. Don't you see? You are a small kid, you can't touch it like I'm touching it because it's hot. Okay. When you are able to do it like this, you are this when is it's done. Soft. Yeah, it's soft. Okay. If you have to hold it now, it will pee your mind. Okay. I'm a farmer, I'm used to it, see? So when it is like this, hey, you know the thing is all right. Oga, okay, please, I want to ask, because I'm still saying that there are dead inside this one. Do you wash it out to remove the dead? Is there any way you remove the dead before sending it to the mill? What happens is that we don't remove everything again. We will carry it to that place. Where the thing is milled, all this refuse will be packed to one side. It will be stained one side. When you get there, you will see. We don't wash it again with water. With anything, or it will, we go and mill it. Then when we mill it, you will see what happened to what we are now asking. The dead will still be apart. Mm -hmm. No, from this side. All right. Thank you very much. Last sir. Person. Now you earlier mentioned that sometimes you cook it overnight. Yes. And sometimes you cook it during the day and still mill it during the day. Yes. I have two questions. One, cook if you decide to make it during the day and still mill it that day to have your oil, does it affect the quality of oil that you produce? That's number one. And number two, if you can actually make it that same day, why why cook it overnight? Is there any advantage to cooking it overnight? And what happens is this, you know sometimes somebody needs money quickly. It may be I'm owing a meeting, then I want to pay the meeting by 6 p.m. today. So, then what happens is that, that day now I have to mill it, because I need quick money. That is why I would do it for a day. But if I leave it overnight, that of overnight produces more oil. More oil. Now that is that one that is produced today, but that I need immediate money, and I don't want to go on credit, I can do it today, mill it today. Then sell my oil today. But it doesn't affect the, co the quality. Yeah, 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 it, doesn't the quality. it doesn't affect it. It's only that of today reduces the oil with just a little quantity. And that little quantity doesn't do have anything to do with me, then I don't want to go on credit. So that is why you, you see, we farmers, we have these things. When we process it, we get money immediately. We don't want to owe people. In this present condition of this food, is there any way it can be eaten like this? And how nutritional is it to the body? Very good of you. If you have the determination to eat it, you can eat it. It's no poison. If you like, you put salt. If you don't like, you don't put salt. You can take it. It's no poison that doesn't have any bad effect on humans. Can you test it, sir? If you like, let, let, let me test it. If you like, if you like, if you want to put salt, they give you salt. Yeah, when you are here, you can see your back. And it's us. Who wants to test? I don't know. 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 I don't it is here you will cook it when the oil is ready. There you can see the girl now collecting the good oil. Then this is now going to the cakes ready for disposal to be sold. Then the dirty things will be under. And that's what we call it a 
uh, Egodo, call it Egodo in Yoruba, Egodo, the dirty thing. We just throw them on the ground like this. The oil will be removed, drops here, then we go and put it in our jerry cans, then it's ready for market. Then the dirty things will be left here. Now the vet what will you do with the vet Very good. We can use this at manio. We use this for manio. That is what we use to produce uh, seedlings, vegetable seedlings. So, like your word, nothing in oil part that is wasted. What happens is, with our oil here, we produce the best. We don't add any chemical. Those ones we are talking of, they add some chemicals, which are, which are not good for the body. But we farmers out there tell us this is the best. Putting all those chemicals is the detergent to human beings in the earth. What has happened here is what call this is digester. Where the things are brought from the cooking drum, we drop it here. Then this thing we mill it. We mill it. Then when it's been milled here, this thing will be coming out through this uh, hole here. Then it will come into this uh, uh, presser. This is what we call press. We have different types of press. We have that of hydraulic, and this is local, locally made press. We have that of jack press and different types of presses. This is the press. You can see, you can see what is there now. That is where we have the fiber and the carnets. Where these things are being processed again, there are some women that are doing picking. And they will scatter it, they bring out the, the, the seeds, the carnets. Then the fibers are kept in, in the side. Like that boy said that no part of oil pan is wasted. The fiber can be used for fire. And it can also be used as mulching, those who are planting vegetables. Then the, the canner now, we now go to the factory for milling, for different types of things. Then the hard canner now, after it has been cracked, you know, we still have the hard canner. That one now can be used for concrete, you use to concrete houses. See? So no one is left out. They are all useful. We have the fiber for fire. We have the carnets for going to the factory to make different types of things. Then we have the cardan now, corn carnets in the, the, shell, the shell. shell there. We use it for concrete, for concrete houses. Then if we have a portion of the road where we have a, this pitch, we can drop them inside the bag, then you put it there. So it is used for controlling erosion. Where the carnets are removed, this is the carnet. This is the carnet. When they are removed, the fibers will be used for fire. It's not used for what we are talking of, pillowcase, we don't use for pillowcase. It's either for fire or you use it for uh, motion. You will get to a stage where you will see this thing be cracked. This hard cannon now will be brought apart. It, eh? What do you say? This hard part of it now called the uh, shells is used for concrete for building houses. There you can use it. You put them inside bag, then you use it for controlling erosion. And if you also want you to use you can use it for fire. Those that those blacksmiths, they use this as fire. Where they are making it check, 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 where they meet in native pops. So they are useful in different uh, forms. I also have is there any usefulness? The one that is coming from this place, does it have any usefulness? What is that? The one is coming through this side. Does it have any usefulness? This is also oil. You see? Yes, this is also you see, the one here will be collected. Okay. Joint to one here. You know when it's being dropped out here, so first we have to pass this way. No one is lost. Okay. Let me get from this guy, yes. Sir, I saw that the milling machine has a connection with the source of water here. Like apart from the four that is spreading it, is there anything this water is doing? You know the, this uh, this water reduces the hotness of this uh, engine. The local radiator, that is the radiator. Those of you who study and you are engineers. This is what we call cracker. 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 This is the engine. What is the name of this engine? 